Now, to get more detail on the, uh, into the, on the exciting new features of Unreal Engine 5.4, I'd like to bring to the stage our Vice President of Engineering, my good friend, Simon Taranjol. Come on, Simon. Take it away, brother. Hi, everyone. It's been a busy year since the last GDC. Back in October, we shipped UE 5.3. Then, in December, we launched Fortnite Chapter 5, along with LEGO Fortnite, Rocket Racing, and Festival in our Big Bang event. And now, we're about to ship UE 5.4. So let's take a look at what's coming. On the rendering side, we just saw some of the beautiful scenes in the Skydance demo. In 5.4, you'll also get other features like local fog volumes and Niagara lightweight emitters, just to name a few. But most importantly, we've made a lot of performance improvements. We now have faster lumen, shadows, and ray tracing. We've added variable rate shading for Nanite. We massively improved instance culling, and we significantly improved parallelism in the renderer. You name it, we made it faster. With a city sample demo that shipped in 5.0, our console test showed that the render thread time was reduced by 50%, and the GPU time decreased by 25%. Let's talk about animation, and I'm happy to share that our motion matching technology is now production ready. Motion matching is a simple yet powerful way to animate characters in games. Instead of handcrafted state machines, motion matching continuously selects the best frame of animation to play from its motion database. But Motion matching is a tool for more than just locomotion. As you can see here, it's used for jumping, falling, and complex for traversal. And to help you get started, we will be releasing a sample project based on what you've seen today. This project will include over 500 AAA animations created from high-end motion capture data with the locomotion and traversal data set used in this demo. Best of all, it will be free for all Unreal Engine developers and compatible with the MetaHuman rig. <laughs> we've been investing in our animation authoring tools with Control Rig and Sequencer, and we've now reached a very important milestone. For the first time, a full game production, LEGO Fortnite, was rigged and animated entirely in Engine with no external DCC used. Working entirely in Unreal Engine means there is no round tripping with an external DCC, no exporting. Being able to see everything in context, lighting, camera, animation, iterating and making changes in real time with final pixels is a real game changer. But our animators always tell us that behind every great animation is a great rig. In Unreal Engine 5.4, creating rigs becomes much quicker and easier than before with modular control rigs. Creators also have the ability to author skeletons and skin weights and take advantage of our new suite of deformers to help achieve fundamental rig features such as squatch and stretch. These tools have changed the way we bring our stories to life, and we're excited to share them with you. With games getting bigger with more complex content, developer iteration will always be top of mind. We've significantly improved C++ completion times with the help of our new Unreal Build Accelerator for highly performant distributed code builds. On our build farm, we now see that Unreal Editor compiles two to three times faster. You'll also be happy to hear that we compile far fewer shaders in the editor as well as during cooks. <laughs> and finally, we improved the onboarding process for Unreal Cloud DDC for large distributed teams. We've been quite busy on the audio front too. MetaSounds was the foundation for audio in all our new experiences. If you're a sound designer and want to make something truly unique and immersive, MetaSounds is the right tool for you. Now, let's talk about our procedural content generation framework, which we released as experimental last year. With PCG, artists can build vast worlds efficiently in a completely art-directable way. For 5.4, we added new features such as runtime hierarchical generation, attribute set tables, feedback loops, and the list goes on. To get you started, we are also releasing a PCG biome creation plugin as a concrete example of a flexible, data-driven tool with a build, uh, built with a systemic approach featuring the latest improvement. So we're happy to announce that the PCG framework is going better with UE54 and planning to be production ready by GDC 2025. I hope you enjoyed this short glimpse of all the cool things our teams have been working on. I invite you all to check out preview one of Unreal Engine 5.4 available today with the full release coming in a month or so.